Just how good is Max O'Leary? Oh my goodness, what a performance at the weekend against Sunderland. Going to review that whole game. We are going to look about look at Liam Manning's start. We're going to talk about um, the Christmas fixtures and we're going to do all that with our resident Robins fan, Sam. How are you, Sam? I'm good, thank you. And yourself? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, we're going to preview the whole game as well with a, a whole fan uh, in a second. But before that, let's cast our eyes back to the Suns in the game. Just how much um, was that win needed for Liam Manning? Uh, 100% he needed that win, especially at home. You know, it was nice to see the fans behind him at the end of the game as well. Yeah. Um, seven games into his tenure, how do you how do you rate his start? I know I ask you this every week, but it, it does... <laughs> I do read a lot on Twitter about different views and some fans have said it's not his team give him time this is Pearson's team he's got to be given time to the end of January others are saying well he's trying to do you know something different with a team that just can't do it um what what's your view yeah I think the feeling in the in the stadium is like 50 50 50 at the moment with him but I, I'm one of them ones who believes he needs a little bit of time try and change the style of football what he's trying to implement there it's not going to work overnight. Okay. There had to be a bit of a rear guard performance, didn't there, in that, especially in that second half. I mean, Sunderland can can come at you from all different kind of angles. So you've got players like Jack Clark and uh uh and and I think yeah, Bellingham got, got substituted on, didn't he? Um there were two in particular excellent saves from from O'Leary. Just just talk us through what 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 sort of a goalkeeper he's been for you. It, it, is he is he someone who you've has been a bit underrated, or have you always thought this is one of the best goalkeepers we've we've, we've had for a while? Um, maybe not feeling that way about him, but after <laughs> yesterday's performance, he has shut a lot of people up. To be fair, you know, is at times he makes world world saves, world class saves, and then the next time, it's such a soft goal conceded, but that's goalkeeper, isn't it? Yeah. Um, am I right in thinking that Bristol City have been a bit unfairly done to by refereeing decisions? Um, should you have had another penalty before the before you actually scored the one you did? Yeah, definitely. There was a foul on site, but then looking at the game from where we were, Sunderland could have quite easily had two penalties in the second half themselves. Okay. Um, we'll look at your Christmas fixtures now. Um, how many points um, across the board do you think that Bristol City are going to get? Uh, out of the uh, the four you've got coming up, um, Hull this weekend is a is a very tricky one. We'll preview that with uh, with our Tigers fan in a second, um, and then you've got two away games: um, away at Watford, which is tricky again, um, and then away to Birmingham, and then you get home to Millwall. So they all could, you know, you could easily come out of this with ten or twelve, but could he also easily come out of it with with two? Yeah, no, <laughs> no one else would come out at a run with none, but yeah. <laughs> No, I'm, lo- I'm looking at, you know, starting with the whole game. You know, I think a point, they're on a really good, they're a good side this season. Liam Racine has got them playing well. Uh, Watford away, again, sneak a point there. Uh, but then we've got to do better than the last two visits I've had to St. Andrews, where it's ended in 3 0 defeats both times. You know, I-, I think we can go there and actually beat them 3 0 this time. Um, the uh, the whole game um, then we're gonna we're gonna preview now. What do you what do you make of Hull as a side um, this year? Yeah, I think they've been very good with their signings. I mean, that lad they signed from Villa is it Biddent? Uh, he he looks a player and a half. You know, um, they're playing good football. I believe are they just inside the playoffs at the moment? <laughs> Yeah, they're just um, just sitting outside, I think, aren't they? Um, yeah, outside. But yeah. Uh, you know, I I think they're seven points above us. So we need to start clawing some of that back, to be fair. Let's bring in our Tigers fan, Will, and uh, get his view on the game. OK, Will, um, you'll be travelling to uh, to Ashton Gate this weekend for the uh, the trip, trip to Bristol City. And um, What's your view on uh, Bristol City, first off? Um, doing another decent, decent side, to be fair. I think we should be going in confident after the uh, game from yesterday. So I think it'll be, an, it'll be an interesting game. Should be a win, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, uh, crikey. Dare we say it, Hull are looking like a side that are going to be in that playoffs for certain, certain <laughs> at the end of the, at the end of the year. Um, Sam, what's your uh, what's your predictions then uh, for this one? I, I go for a one-one draw. Okay, 
<laughs> um, and Will? Uh, I'm I'm going to go a bit more confident. I'm going to go say a 2-1 win to us. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, happy memories of playing Hull, Sam. I mean, you've you know you've you've been in the division quite a long time. <laughs> no, no, I've got such bad memories of playing against Hull. You know, mainly the playoff final, but <laughs> we won't speak what, about what that. Was that again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, old old rivalries, and um, and Will, you obviously have happy memories of playing Bristol City. I'd imagine just a little bit, yeah, just a little bit. I don't think I don't think is it a Dean Windass was it I think <laughs> as if you'd forgotten yeah. <laughs> right cheers fellas we will uh, enjoy the game and we will see you uh, see you both uh, next week thank you very much yeah.